Hey guys, Takarukushi here again, um, and welcome to another one of my quick guitar lesson videos. And in this video, I want to talk to you about how to hold a pick. A pick is one of these things. A piece of plastic, triangular shape. Some people call them plectrums. And there are many variations on how to hold a pick. And the choices are usually based on the style of music that you would be playing. So, for example, a guitar player who sweep picks a lot, say, you know, uh, heavy metal guitar players, for example, they will hold the pick differently from, say, acoustic guitar players who are trying to get a very loud volume out of the guitar. So each approach has their advantages and disadvantages. But today I want to discuss um, kind of a one-size-fits-all approach. And once you master this approach and feel comfortable holding a pick, then you can feel free to explore more specialized approaches, such as sweep picking. So, first of all, you want to hold your hand out like this in a loose fist. So that means we don't want to close our fist. We don't want to let the fingers touch the palm. We just want to keep it relatively open. Right, you can see through my palm there. And then when you do this, the thumb will naturally come in contact with the side of the index finger. And you want to keep that contact uh, before the first knuckle of the index finger. And then what we do is we slide the pick in between there. And we want to make sure that when we're holding it, we're not holding it too far away from the point. Right, so not like this, you want to hold it a bit deeper and you want to hold it closer to the point of the pick, which is where you'll be picking your strings. And this is because if you hold it too far away, as you play, it can wobble around a lot more and it'll feel like the pick wants to fall out of your hand and then you'll grip tighter and it's going to interfere with playing music smoothly and keeping relaxed. So hold it closer to the point and the pick is going to end up at a right angle to the thumb. Kind of like that. I hope you can see that. And then we just bring that to the guitar and that's how we pick the strings. Now when you're picking the strings, just keep in mind you don't want to move too much from the arm or the elbow. Most of the picking is going to happen from this kind of motion. A rotation of the forearm and also a little bit from the movement of the fingers. Another thing that you can do is you can uncurl the fingers that you're not using to hold the pick and to let those fingers lightly brush against the top of the guitar and what that will do is give you a sen better sense of positioning for your pick in relation to the strings so you'll be able to uh, find those strings a lot easier without having to look at them. Now the most important thing to keep in mind is to be nice and relaxed and in the beginning you might worry about the pick falling out of your hands so avoid gripping it tightly. It's okay if the pick falls out of your hands it means it's actually kind of a good thing because it shows that your hand is nice and relaxed. And then another common mistake I see is um, just uh, letting the pick point forward a little bit, kind of like this. And then what ends up happening is you end up using this longer edge of the pick to pick the strings. And that usually results in a tone that sounds very thin and weak, especially on uh, acoustic instruments. So try and avoid that. Make sure you're keeping the pick pretty much at a right angle to the strings, but also it's okay if it points a little bit more towards this way. It's actually okay for the pick to point back towards the bridge a little bit as you're playing, right? But definitely avoid having it point forwards. So that's it for this video and I hope you enjoyed it. And remember to hit the like, subscribe and bell notification on the bottom and leave a comment if you have a topic in mind that you'd like me to cover. And see you next time.